Hello, welcome to Podcast Fist Player. Today we've got another review, and today we are looking at this, which is the Nomadic R150 projector, which was sent to us by Nomadic, but in no way influenced what I think of the product. Looking for a portable projector with a twist, quite literally, is the R150 by Nomadic it has a handy twistable side to allow you to project at multiple angles. It's adjustable up to 90 degrees, so if you're looking to watch movies in bed on your ceiling, then this will do the job. Adopting a pill-shaped design, the R150 very closely resembles a Bluetooth speaker, which is handy as it has customized speakers by Harman Kardon and they sound terrific. There are a few trade-offs with the sound and that's mostly down to the size of the projector, which limits the bass a bit, but overall it sounds really good. As you can see, the entire projector is made of this matte steel plastic. Um, but even though it's plastic, it does feel very premium. Weighing in at 720 grams, which isn't too heavy to put in your bag and carry around, but substantial enough that it doesn't feel cheap. Now, the aforementioned twist or swivel, depending on how you want to say it, section allows you to move the projected image to a different part of the environment. So, for example, if I move it to its uh, natural position, which is there, you see it's got these legs. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Here. And then when you move it, that'll let it sit somewhere else. So in this instance, if I turn it around so the projector is actually facing you, the projected image is going to go that way. But if we move it around, now it will go forward. So you can do this up to 90 degrees. So you can have it just going purely down or up, depending on where it would be. And where the leg sits is where it's going to project. It's very clever and it's very handy, especially for a portable projector. So you can put it onto different things. So you can have it on a wall, on a cloth, on a ceiling, on the floor, anywhere you want to project the image. There's a vent on the left-hand side of the projector and it does a great job of pushing hot air out from the internal fan to prevent overheating. And it runs pretty silently as well. Connectivity-wise, there's a handy rubber tab that gives you access to a 3.5 millimeter jack, HDMI port, USB-A, USB-C for both charging and input. DC power and a power switch. Now the power switch ooh, is this thing here. So at the moment it's set to red, which means it won't turn on. And if we flick it to green, that allows us to turn it on. And what's handy about that, if it's in your bag and you accidentally turn it on, as long as you've got the switch turned to red, nothing's gonna happen, which means the battery isn't gonna drain. On top of the R150 are some touch sensitive buttons for volume control and play and pause as well as LED indicators for battery. The R150 is equipped with a built-in 4,800 milliamp rechargeable battery, and this will see you through around about four hours of video playback in echo mode, and about one and a half hours of video playback at maximum brightness. Something that was a nice surprise when opening the box is Nomadic include this carry case. It's very robust, and a really cool feature is it's got a little, a little slot for the remote. The R150 includes auto keystone, but this is vertical only, but it does a decent job. And as far as portable projectors go, it's super easy to project and watch a movie in a matter of minutes. The remote's a very minimalistic, but modern looking remote. They're very It's very similar to a Nvidia Shield remote or an Apple TV. Let's get a bit of focus on there, shall we? There we go. So as you can see, you got your usual stuff. You got your play, pause, mute, volume up, volume down, home, back, and then you got your up, down, left, right, and then the center bit here that's the okay button this is the only bit i have a slight problem with because just because of the odd design of it, i know it's the the logo but if it was a circle it would be a bit easier to press i had some instances where it didn't quite register a key press i just pressed it again and it worked fine so it's not a massive issue um but just something to be aware of and then this button here is uh, a focus button this doesn't do anything and the only thing i can think of is this remote is this it's the same remote that they use for other projectors that have it um but pressing that no, no, nothing happens so i don't know if a software thing will, will will update that and you'll be able to do it but i wouldn't assume so um but yeah it's just there and it doesn't do anything in terms of specs the r150 is way above projectors in its price range when it comes to audio these harman kardon speakers really are good Surprisingly so given the compact design, the inclusion of these customized speakers really elevate the R150 over every standard projector in terms of audio quality. I was thinking, we should call our class project Fun Guys in a Forest. <laughs> Get it? Because we're a group of fun guys. Focus on the R150 is manual and the scroll wheel can be found next to the lens. And whilst I've grown accustomed to autofocus projectors as of late, it's really quick to focus, although you will need to do this every time you move the projector, which will likely be a lot because it's portable. So in terms of inputs, as we mentioned, you've got HDMI and USB inputs, but you can also download apps from the App Store. 
It's not the Google Play Store, even though this does run Android, but there's a wide selection of entertainment apps such as Netflix or Disney Plus. That means once you're downloaded and signed in, you can access content wherever you are, providing you have internet access, of course. Otherwise, USB content will see you through those internet-free locations. You also have the ability to stream content from your iOS or Android device, but be forewarned, any apps using HDCP, such as Netflix, won't work via casting, so you need to connect a device like a Fire Stick or a PlayStation or Xbox using HDMI if you want to watch, or just use the apps on the R150 itself. As with most projectors, the R150 is better used in dark environment, but even more so in this case, as we're only talking 360 lumens, which means it's not the brightest projector on the market. But again, at the price point and the compact design, these are the trade-offs of a portable projector compared to a larger stationary one. However, even just projecting onto a plain white wall will yield positive results in the dark. Now, obviously compared to a dedicated stationary projector, the Armour 50 will come off worse in terms of picture quality, but that's not the point of this little gem. It's made to be moved around, to be placed in your bag when you go camping. It's an incredibly versatile projector, and taking that into account, it's pretty positive viewing experience. Whilst not being the brightest option available, the R150 exhibited a fairly uniform appearance. White and black images showed uniformity, while also displaying impressive color reproduction of reds, greens, and blues. Now, the R150 is actually a native 480p projector that upscales the image to 720p or 1080p, depending on the app and video source. So you'll want to keep the throne projection a little bit smaller in order to keep the image clean and crisp. The image quality is surprisingly really good, but if you did do a side-by-side -side with a native 1080p projector, you'll notice the difference. Still, for a projector that you can throw, not literally, into a bag and watch movies anywhere there's a flat surface, it's a fairly decent trade-off. I really, really like it. You can, Like I say, you can chuck it in your bag, you can take it camping, you can, you can take it wherever you want to use it. The battery life's really good, and it also doubles up as a Bluetooth speaker so you can send stuff to it. So the only thing with the audio is whilst it's fantastic, there's only speakers on the one side. Um, obviously this is because of the, the vent and the, the input section here. Um, but otherwise it sounds genuinely really good. And if this was a little bit bigger, it would sound remarkable. Really, really good. If you want to see more, you can go to podcastversusplayer.com and you can see more on this review. And also there's other reviews on there that you can look at as well. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye. <laughs>